Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Remember, the attorney, not the artista. Ako po si OJ Serkinia. This is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We searched all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Dito po sa K-Check, titingnan natin kung gaano katalas at katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Unang-una si Angela. She's a professional dancer, a member of UP Street Dance Club, and the crew PH. She has been dancing for almost seven years and maybe dancing towards the championship. championship yes. And Riza is a housewife and a proud mother. She loves to cook for her four children. Oh, ang dami. Now, Dane is an incoming second-year nursing student from the Our Lady of Fatima University. She plays the ukulele and loves to read books. And Ron is a former badminton varsity player, now working on getting a PS cooperatives degree from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. He also performs spoken word poetry and wants to become a seaman someday. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First is Professor Wendell Capili of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Second is Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And finally, Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin. First question, Angela, in what province can you find Taal Volcano? Albay. Albay. Mali. Riza, from Florida. Where did Apollo 11 go to in July 1969? The answer, the moon. Dane, in what continent can you find Pakistan? Australia. Australia. Male. The answer is Asia. Ron, what do you call a female tiger? The answer is tigress. You now go back to again, Angela. What city is the capital of Finland? The correct answer is Helsinki. Riza, how many sides does a trapezoid have? Three. Three? Male. The correct answer is four. Dane, in what continent can you find Colombia? Europe. Male. The correct answer is South America. Ron, in what sport did David Beckham become rich and famous? Soccer. Soccer or football? The answer is K-Check. Correct. Angela, what ocean separates Africa and South America? The correct answer, the Atlantic Ocean. Riza. A mule is a hybrid between a donkey and what other animal? The correct answer, a horse. Dane, which singer's first number 
big hit is thinking out loud. Ed Sheeran. Hi. <laughs> the answer is correct. Key check. Ron, what is the center of the solar system? Earth. Male. The correct answer is the sun. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian round. Na-stress ako sa round na yun, ha? Bakit ka na-stress, Attorney Gabby? Uh, the competition was so strong. What can I say? Well, I think they can do so much better and malayo pa ang kanilang tatahakin sa show na ito para patunayan ang kanilang galing. Right? I think it's time to talk to our panel of experts and I would like to talk to Professor Wendell and ask him what he thinks of the of the competition so far? I think uh, they're trying to warm up mm -hmm. because at this point in competition, hindi pa sila masyadong na challenge. I think uh, the challenge is for them to be fired up for the second round and I think they can make it all the way to the next round as well. Right, Prof. Wendell, among our contestants, do you want to ask a question? See, si, si Dana, I'm just curious that you're a nursing major. Yes, Bob. Uh, bakit nursing yung pinili mong gawing profession? Um, actually, nursing po, it is actually my passion and I want to help other people, especially po yung mga people na mga malalayo po yung lugar at hindi po afford na makapunta po sa mga hospitals. At alam natin meron pang pandemya, so kailangan natin ng marami pa ang mga day na yes, sa buong po. Pilipinas. Maaari rin po kayong sumali sa K-Check at contact people from TVUP kung gusto niyo po <laughs> sumali. So... At Salamat. pwede na rin nating, at mananalo din ang sagot ni Dane sa Miss Universe pageant. Tama. <laughs> Pero gusto rin natin tanungin, alam mo, nai-interest ako kay Angela, who is a dancer. Mm -hmm. Paano mo naman na pagmimix ang dancing at ang mga academics and joining contests like K-Check? Um, it's very tough. Um, you have to balance, uh, basically, kailangan kong hatiin yung katawan ko into being a daughter a student and also in an athlete. So um, I just found out K-Check from a friend and heard it was fun. <laughs> Looks like it, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the process and we'll get there. Yes, Angela, I have faith in you and I'm sure you will dance your way to your success in the future. In the meantime, let us do a point recap. Angela has zero points. Riza has zero points. Dane and Ron, have 10 points each. As I said a while ago, malayo pa ang laban at mm -hmm. pwedeng pwede pa kayong magdagdag sa inyong points. And I'm sure yung mga viewers natin, naku, kanina pa nakikisagot yan, di ba? <laughs> Kayong so, lahat, yeah. Oh, so, sa ating mga audience, how did you do against the contestants? Tandaan nyo, you're not subject to the same my lights at my stress, di ba? I'm, I'm sure at home, they're relaxed, they're enjoying uh, K-Check and trying to answer as many questions as possible. In but any ready case? na ba sila? Oh, ready na ready ba sila, Attorney Gabby? Next round? Ready na ba kayo para sa Pabilisan round? That's next, here on K-Check! karunungan check at ito ang ating standing ng mga contestants sa ngayon Angela and Riza with 0 points Dane and Ron both with 10 points each naku talagang medyo neck to neck ang ating contest ngayon ha correct <laughs> pero hindi pa nahuhuli ang lahat we are just we have just finished our first round on to the next one exactly attorney Gabby but i'm interested in what one of our contestants thinks of the competition so far. And I would like to ask Ron. Ron, how are you feeling right now? I'm nervous. Well, I can feel the nervousness. <laughs> pero Excited. relax ka lang. Relax ka lang. Naku, hmm. Ron, eh kung manalo ka ba today sa competition natin, uh, mag-iiba kaya ang iyong plano na maging seaman someday? No po. No, no determined. Determined siya sa pagiging seaman. Sige, Ron, maglayag ka lang na maglayag at makakarating ka rin sa iyong paroroonan. 
Ngayon, tanungin naman natin ang isa sa ating panel of experts na si Professor Ricky. Professor Ricky, may gusto ka bang itanong sa ating mga contestants? Uh, may tanong ako kay Riza. Anong magandang snacks para sa ating mga students? At anong masasabi mo sa mga students para manonood dito sa ating uh, patimpalak? Para sa akin, ang pinakamasarap na merienda para sa mga estudyante, uh, kagaya, sana ko, mahilig sa, ano, sa ginataan bilo-bilo. Tapos, sana may expired yung ibang tao na sumali dito kahit nandun yung kaba at excitement. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Riza. Alam kong dahil mahilig ka magluto, bibigyan mo ng sustansya ang ating patimpalak ngayong araw na ito. Pero tayo ay pupunta na sa ating susunod na round, ang K-Check Pabilisan. You have to buzz in first for the right to answer the question and correct answers are worth 20 points in this round. Pero kapag mali ang iyong sagot, babawasan ka namin ng 10 puntos. Kaya contestants... Think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. Question number one. Which city in Ontario is the largest city in Canada by population? Toronto. Riza? Toronto? k -check. Question number two. Named for a French Physicist, what is the SI base unit for electric current? Answer, Ampere. Question number three. With only 1,787 lines, a comedy of errors is the shortest play of which English writer? Answer, William Shakespeare. Question number four. What is the highest mountain range in the world? Ron. Mount Everest. Malik. Okay. Answer, the Himalayas. Question number five. What pop music band is fronted by twin brothers Miguel and Paolo Guico? Dang. Ben and Ben? Ben and Ben? Keita. Question number six. Which European capital is known as the City of Lights? Answer. Paris. Question number seven. In sports, what term describes a tie near the end of a set at which a player or team needs two consecutive points to win the game like a 40-all score in tennis? Answer, deuce. Question number eight. What 2021 song by Fireboy and Ed Sheeran has a title that is the name of a Latin American country? Answer, Peru. Question number nine. What present country in East Asia was once known as the Republic of Formosa? Answer, Taiwan. Last two questions. Pwede pa kayong sumagot. <laughs> Question number ten. What is the title of the comic strip by Charles Schulz that features Charlie Brown and Snoopy? Answer, Peanuts. Question 11. What term refers to a fruit, a flightless bird, or a resident of New Zealand? Answer, kiwi. Question number 12. Maybe you can give me an answer for this question. <laughs> in what city in Japan was the first atomic bomb 
dropped on August 6, 1945. Angela. Tokyo. Malik. Answer, Hiroshima. And that's it for our K-Check Pabilisan <laughs> round. Attorney Gabby, what oh. do you think of that round? Medyo pinagpawisan ako doon, ha? Well, napakabilis ng round na yun, is all I can say. Right. <laughs> Literally, they breezed through that round. Correct. Yeah. So, dapat relax lang mga contestants natin. What about you, Prof. Neil? Ano kayong masasabi mo sa round na to? <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung inaantok lang sila, kinakabahan, natataranta. Um, baka kailangan nyo magpakitang gilas. Kasi yeah. ang pamagat ng programa ay karunungan check. So, meron pang third round, magpasiklaban tayo. Then, prove us wrong. Tama ka dyan, Prof. Neil. At tignan natin ang current standing para malaman natin kung sino ang kailangan magpakitang gila sa susunod na round. Currently, Angela has negative 10 points, Riza has 20 points, Dane has 30 points, and Ron has no points. Right? Okay. Hindi pa huli ang lahat, Attorney Gabby. Hindi Pwede pa pang lumaban lahat. ang ating contestants. Talaga, may chance pa talaga. Meron pang chance ang lahat para humabol. And at this point, it is still anyone's game. But this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Alam nyo naman, at this point in time, ang ating mga points ay si Angela with minus 10, Riza with 20, Dane with 30, and Ron, 0. Kasi may plus or minus na si 0 tuloy. Correct. Diba? Pero ngayon, sa susunod nating round, ang K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, malalaman natin kung sino ang mananalo. Sa round na ito, correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors natin, dito sa panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Kaya contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. Ito na ang ating pagalingan challenge, hindi lang pagalingan ng mga sagot ng mga contestant, ngunit pagalingan din ng mga tanong ng ating panel of experts. Let's start with the very handsome Professor Wendell. Which extraordinary and beloved classical ballerina whose career extended from 1934 to 1979 helped put British ballet on the international map? The correct answer is Dame Margot Fontaine. Yan. Susunod naman ang ating uh, napakagwapo, Professor Ricky. What gas law depicts the inverse relationship between the pressure exerted by gas and the volume it occupies at a given mass kept at a constant temperature? Ginagamit natin to pag naglalagay tayo ng hangin sa ating mga bike tires, Boyle's Law or the boyle Marriott Law. Can you repeat the question? It's okay. <laughs> Ang next question po natin, manggagaling sa ating Professor Neil. What is the name of the dynasty in China that was ruled by the Mongols? Angela? Hang Dynasty. Mali. Okay. 
Sa panahon ng dinastiyang ito, lumaganap ang mga ideya at imbensyon ng mga Chino sa kanduran. At pumasok ang maraming impluensyang kanluranin sa China. Ang tamang sagot ay Yuan Dynasty. Hirap naman ang mga tanong. Professor Wendell. Okay, acknowledged as one of the greatest Filipino painters of the late 19th century. He won the silver medal in the 1884 Madrid Exposition of Fine Arts, where Juan Luna won the gold. Who is he? Kahit family name lang. Who is he? The correct answer is Hidalgo or Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. Prof. Ricky, it's your turn. So physics naman tayo. What is the difference in an electric potential between two points? <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay voltage. Ang hirap ng tanong. Ang dali pala nung sagot. Prof. Neil, it's your turn. What is the longest mountain range in the Philippines? Riza. Mount Apo. Mali. Range? Angela. Range? Pakiulit nga yung sagot. Range po. Tatagpuan ang bulubunduking ito mula sa probinsya ng Cagayan hanggang sa Quezon Province. Ang tamang sagot ay Sheramad. The competition is really getting intense. Prof. Wendo. Next, uh, which Hong Kong and American martial artist is considered to be the most influential martial artist of all time and the pop culture icon of the 20th century who bridged the gap between the East and the West? He is credited for promoting... Hong Kong action cinema and help change the way Asians were presented in Asia. Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan? Lucky Chan ba o Jackie Chan? Pero mali pa rin. The correct answer is Bruce Lee. I think it's a generational thing. Hindi na nila kilala. Baka it's a generational thing. Professor Ricky. Huwag naman masyadong mahirap, pati ako oh, naman sa natin. mga question mo. Okay. What climate pattern describes the unusual warming of surface waters in the Eastern Pacific Ocean? Apektado ang fishing at agriculture ng developing countries na bordering Pacific Ocean ito. At ang tawag dito ay El Nino. Professor Neil, for the next question. To tanong to para sa generation niyo. So sigurado ako merong makak makakabigay ng tamang sagot mula sa apat na contestants. Kung hindi aalis na ako dito sa sa table na to. Okay, so in pop culture, what is the meaning of Hallyu? Spelled H A L L Y U. Speechless ako ulit. Lumagana pang impluensya ng bansang Korea o South Korea sa iba't ibang bahagi ng ating kultura. Okay? Pwedeng sa pamamaraan ng television, K-drama, musika, K-pop, Korean cuisine, fashion at cosmetics. Ang tamang sagot ay Korean wave. Parang kailangan ko nang umalis. Pagod. <laughs> Professor Wendell? Okay, question. Which Nobel Prize winner in literature ran as president of his country? Bongbong yes. Marcos? Ay! Okay. Wrong. Riza? Yeah. <laughs> 
The correct answer is Margo, Mario Var Vargas Llosa from <laughs> Peru in 1990. Ang hirap naman, no? <laughs> Pero ang girlfriend niya, Pilipina, si Isabel Preisler, ang first oh, wife ni Julio Iglesias at ang nanay... Ang mga Maltes, alam niya. Oo, oh, nanay Enrique <laughs> Iglesias, dapat nasugot niyo yun. Oh. Uh, Prof. Ricky? Madali na to, ha? What hair like appendage causes the motion of a motile bacterium? Dane. Celia. Mali. Minsan, ginagamit tong sensory organs for pH and temperature. Ang tamang saglo sagot ay flagella. We knew that. We were just scared to answer. Prof. Neil. Huling tanong. Hindi ko alam kung kinakabahan pa kayo o inaantok pa kayo, pero ito na yung huling tanong. Ano ang pinakaunang science city sa Pilipinas? Matatagpuan sa lungsod na ito ang Central Luzon State University at Philippine Carabao Center. Bahagi ito ng probinsya ng Nueva Ecija. Ang tamang sagot ay Munoz City. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Dane, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 15 points. We'll see Dane again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Angela, Riza, and Ron for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is OJ Serkinia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.